Hello and welcome to another Nigel's Cheap Vlogs and today as you can tell well maybe you can't tell but I am in Niagara Falls I'm in one of the deserted parking lots and uh, behind me is a WeGo bus and in the background you can hear a helicopter and uh, I'm at the top end in the foreground back there you can probably just see a couple of the hotels so anyway what's today's video all about well I can tell you it's about masks and it's not the bloody flu that's what the bloody uh, video is about today. So let's get cracking. COVID could be best uh, described as being very confusing, very, very confusing indeed. Uh, mainly due to it being a very new virus and the data is still being analyzed throughout the world. The messages from our governments, not just in this country, but all, all over the world, has been somewhat very confusing. Uh, in fact, it's been very contradictory. Contradictory? Contradictory? Contradictory. Yes. The contradicting themselves. That's basically what I'm trying to say. That's a hard word I'm trying to say right there, so don't put pressure on me. The message from our government has been very contradictory. I said it right that time. So over the past few months, uh, since the lockdown started and we went into the state of emergency, I've made several videos uh, focusing on the Niagara region and how we've been dealing with COVID. You can go back into my history and look at this. It's in a playlist. It's uh, Niagara COVID, I think I've called it. Uh, check them out if you want. Uh, there's a few in there which irked a few people and there's a lot in there which people really, really like because I highlighted a few of the problems. But one of the main issues I've actually highlighted over the, like, the past few months is the contradiction which has actually come from these rules, especially during the phase two opening. And still today, there's a lot of contradiction going on and a lot of confusion, especially when it comes to masks and whether it's a flu or as COVID. Because a lot of people are calling this COVID, it's just a flu. Tell you what, it's not a freaking flu at all. It's COVID, it's completely different, completely different. I don't know where you're getting your uh, information from, uh, you conspiracy theorists. I guess it's from conspiracy.net or something like that and um, splinter cells of those people. But COVID is not the flu. They're completely two different things. First of all, the flu comes from the uh, virus influenza and COVID, which is a coronavirus, is part of the SARS group, uh, COV2, I believe it is. Two completely different things. There's also a lot of people who believe this is a pandemic still, and it's just infuriating. It really, really is. So we'll look into that a little bit more as we go through this video. I'm also gonna to demonstrate to you uh, very shortly uh, the benefits of wearing a mask. Uh, the spray, which is called an aerosol, and that's what it is, that's an aerosol. Uh, so I'll, I'll show you a little demonstration I did about, literally about half an hour ago when I was over at Walmart. So I'll show you that very, very shortly. All right, one thing for sure we know about COVID right now is the uh, <laughs> the fallout. Should we call it the fallout? Yeah, it's the fallout. It is the um, hysteria that has rattled so many people, uh, not just in Ontario and in Niagara region, but throughout Canada and the world. It's those people who just don't want to wear a mask. Do I put it on? Do I not? Wear a mask? Not wear a mask. Wear a mask? Not wear a mask. What is so hard about wearing a mask, really? I mean, there's so many people out there right now who feel like if I put a mask on, I'm conforming to being told what to do. Well, yeah, kind of, but you're doing it for a reason. You're doing it to save people's lives. Oh no, sorry, you don't believe in that, do you? Because you don't believe coronavirus or COVID-19 is real in any way and it's all made up, right? Oh, here's a Lancaster bomber, let's get this. Ah, my apologies for that. We were rudely interrupted by uh, the Lancaster bomber, which right now is just uh, flying right over Niagara Falls. Uh, all I can say, these people are self-censored, arrogant wankers. They really are. Uh, we're in the middle of a pandemic and you still don't want to believe it, but yet you expect, you mock everyone who does believe it. And you know what? You are a small, tiny little proportion where the vast majority of us are trying our hardest to get rid of this. All right. This is me in Walmart earlier on. I did a test on a spray, which I found in my vehicle, to just highlight uh, the aerosols that come out of your mouth. So we're going to show you that video right now. Enjoy. All right, this is a better place than any to do uh, a quick demonstration for you on spray, aerosols. That's the stuff that comes out of your mouth, your nose, when you sneeze, uh, you talk. And uh, the reason why it's suggested we all wear a mask. So what we're gonna do is demonstrate the spray outdoors and compare it with what it's like inside the truck with, uh, with the windows up. And we'll do it in regular time. And then I'm gonna do it in slow motion so you can see what happens. All right, I'm gonna do it in slow motion. And we're 
we're gonna spray it in here with no wind, no nothing. And we'll do it regular time and then in slow motion. All right, as you can see, the, uh, the aerosol particles hover in the air a lot longer when they're inside a contained place, like a building, like a car, or anything like that, when there's no air circulation. But when you're outdoors, on the other hand, it's quickly, very quickly diluted. Uh, the air itself in the outside is just moving those particles away a lot quicker, it's diluting them. Uh, so that's why the chances are of you getting uh, coronavirus, COVID-19, catching it when you're outdoors, is a lot slimmer. It's, it's not like you're never gonna catch it, there's always that risk, but it's a lot less. Hence why in Canada, we haven't introduced the mandate to wear masks outdoors. It's just recommended if you're in large groups, but we don't, it's not mandatory. There's loads of masks out there. It doesn't matter what kind of mask you wear, really, as long as you're covering it, because every little bit, of, anything you put over your mouth is some form of protection, right? Uh, I have loads of different masks on me. I have my, uh, I, have, I have this one, which is uh, my favorite. There we go. It goes with my t-shirt, by the way, my Man United t-shirt. Yep, there you go. I will call that like a level one. This is like a level one as well. This is like just a flimsy material one, goes over your face like that, and it's done. And then you go more serious. Uh, usually I wear these ones. Uh, this is a new one. Uh, this is a, a level three. It's like a surgical mask. And uh, it's got the, uh, the metal bit in there, which you can push right over your nose like that. And you stick it on like that. And if you don't want your glasses to fog up, this is quite easy. People don't understand this, but you know what? Push it quite hard on your nose, on the bridge of your nose, and just sit your glasses right on top. And they don't fog up. It's as simple as that. If you're an anti-masker, one way of looking at this is, if you're a guy, I'm gonna use a guy as an example. If you're a guy and you're just going out for a night out and you see this lovely girl, woman, or a man, depending on your taste, or them, if you want one of them, and uh, you, you know, you hook up with them, but what if that person what if that person may be in HIV positive and you're not 100% sure? The first thing you're going to do, if you get that to that next stage, you're going to wear a condom to protect yourself, right? Well, just think of that as like this. It's just protection for that reason until you know for sure they don't have it. So if you met someone really and you're going to have sex with them, you should be wearing a condom for the first time because you don't know them that well and you don't know if they're a carrier of anything, of any sexual transmitted disease. So you wear that to protect yourself. This is the same it's the same principle. You wear this to, to protect yourself and protect others as well. Because that person you're sleeping with doesn't know that you have HIV or anything like that. And you're just protecting yourself and you're offering a bit more protection to them. Now, here's a fact for you. In a study uh, recently done in the United States, I think it was back in 2015, I was reading up on, uh, they did a test, uh, a, a study on thousands of people. And it showed that you touch your face on average 23 times an hour, and I keep touching mine now because I've got itchy nose. <laughs> and out of those, out of those 23 times, 44% of those are you touching mucous membrane, which is something like this. I do quite often, I end up rubbing my eyes like that. So there you go. All right, speaking of social distancing, I have this whole place to myself. This whole place, it's huge. There's no one here. Oh, and they just showed up. You could sit there, and nah, nah, they're, they're, they're far away, they're far away, I'll even be. I'm not, gonna, I'm not gonna wind them up. They're all right. You know what, they're just like me, they're probably just hiding out of the way and uh, keeping away from the crowds. All right, when I get home, I'm gonna uh, put up a few of the comments I've found online over the last, uh, the last uh, few days and weeks, and we'll look at them. You know, those naysayers who just slam anyone who uh, doesn't conform to their standard, especially, you know, those anti-maskers, those Karens, and things like that. All right, here's our first shot I've pulled from the internet. This is posted on a local community site where I am. And here's the original one. It shows four masks. Need I say more? What a joke is the headline. No, not a joke. Uh, three of those masks are to stop toxins and chemicals from entering your body, keeping you safe. Whereas the other mask is designed specifically, so simple, to stop saliva, air droplets, aerosols. All right, move on to the next one. It's highly unlikely Canada will suffer the same fate. Over 97,000 children in the US test positive for coronavirus in two weeks. And what's the first response we get? These tests are highly inaccurate, with many false positives. Do your own research, people. That's the same response a tinfoil hat wearer would tell me. 
More than 25 million people have been diagnosed with the novel coronavirus worldwide. Coronavirus cases surpassed 25 million worldwide. What's the first response? <laughs> Almost at that 0.003%. Laugh out loud. Ha ha ha. Scary. Pretty weak for 10 months. 0.0000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000